Welcome back True Believers and all you spectacular Spidey fans. My name is 4K Films. Thank you so much for clicking on the video. Hopefully you guys are having an amazing day. But let's get right into the video to another very exciting Marvel Spider-Man related video. So hopefully your hype levels for Spider-Man 2 have settled in a bit more now that the trailer is finally out online for all of us to completely enjoy. Or on the flip side... If you're like me, your hype levels have pretty much increased every passing day ever since the, the first trailer launched. Well, believe me when I say that the hype for Spider-Man 2 is going full steam. To dive a bit more within this game, for this video, uh, for going over exactly which specific villains we, villains, I mean, we do currently know are pretty much official, confirmed to be within Spider-Man 2, uh, and which are other villains that previous games may make a return appearance within the sequel and even though we can pretty much officially confirm two of the main villains included within Spider-Man 2 right off the bat with Venom and Kraven the Hunter. I do think there's a fair chance of two possibilities three other major characters from the previous game to have a possibly have a minor or major role here within the sequel's narrative. So for the list of currently villains, let's start. Oh, sorry. For the this list of currently known villains, let's start with the character that we actually see at the very end of the teaser with none other than Venom, who again, I do think is pretty safe to say at this point that the host of the Venom symbiote that is going to be included in, within Marvel Spider-Man 2 is actually Harry Osborn. Instead of Eddie Brock, because even though Eddie Brock actually exists within the Spider-Man universe, based on what we've seen in one of the in one of Peter's collectible backpacks, where we did see Eddie's signature in his goodbye card after leaving the Daily Bugle, it was directly shown at both of the post-credit scenes of Spider-Man PS4 and Miles Morales that does show Harry Osborn completely enveloped within the symbiote substance due to the fact that he's actually dying based on the same disease that killed off his mother. Now, ag now again, Insomniac might end up pulling a red herring and actually show off that Harry does have the symbiote on him, but somehow eventually transfer transfers, I mean, onto Peter and then after turning him into the black suit spider-man it could end up going to eddie brock and then turning him into an actual uh into the actual venom that we know from the comics but based on the inc on the incredibly personal relationship that peter already has with harry osborne since he is his best friend i think it would be the much more impactful if we were to see both Peter and Miles directly taking on Venom, knowing that Harry is trapped inside, that the symbiote suit alongside of this, if it actually ends up turning out that Harry Osborn is indeed Venom within this game's universe, I do think that will in turn directly spawn the villain's origin for another main antagonist, which may lead the charge for in the, in the inevitable Spider-Man 3, but we will dive into that a little bit later. Now for the villain number two that that we do actually hear narrating the trailer is most definitely that of the Craven, the Hunter. Plus, it does look like we are we get a quick glimpse of Craven's henchmen that both Peter and Miles are fighting within the teaser trailer. Craven is easily one of those most intriguing villains within the Spider-Man rogues gallery. And based on the narration that we hear in the trailer, it certainly sounds he's challenging both Peter and Miles directly for the thrill of the hunt. But is there a possibility that he might know that both Peter and Miles, Spider-Man, or Spider-Man regardless, I do think a tag team boss fight between Peter and Miles taking on Venom and possibly Craven at the same time would just be absolute insanity. And based on all the other incredible villain designs we've seen in the previous Spider-Man games, like the that of Doc Ock and the and the rest of the Sinister Six members, and now what we're 
currently seeing with Venom, I can only imagine how all the other antagonists are going to fully look like within the game's world. Now moving on to uh, two other major characters that were included within the end of Marvel's Spider-Man Miles Morales, as well as shown as the primary focus as a part of Spider-Man City that never sleeps DLC, for the first game is actually known, not, there's none other than Dr. Kurt Connors as the Lizard. And Captain Yuri want, and Yuri want to buy as the Wraith. By the way, I don't know how to say Yuri's last name, so don't go off me in the comments. So, to start off with one of the most classic Spider-Man villains known to man with the Lizard, it was directly shown in the post credit scenes for Miles Morales that Dr. Kurt Connors is helping Norman Osborn to keep an eye on Harry's condition, and if you're if you personally collect all the backpacks within Spider-Man PS4, you were already fully aware that Peter does have a history with fighting the lizard within this game universe uh, within this game's universe. Now, even though Venom and Craven are already pretty massive threats for both Peter and Miles as Spider-Man to deal with in their own right, I definitely think we can certainly expect more villains to include within this game's roster down the line. And that means we could see Dr. Connors re reverting back to his lizard state to fight Peter and Miles, maybe un and unintentionally, that would just be flat out awesome and moving on to another character within this game's universe, which might be seen more towards an anti-hero compared to a straight up villain, is the darker side of Captain Yuri, becoming her alternate personnel of the Wraith, especially if you played all the way through the Turf War DLC and the Silver Lining DLC, you will know exactly what I'm talking about. After Yuri's uh, confrontation with Hammerhead, she then decided to take justice into her own hands. However, she does take things a bit too far, considering that Spider-Man usually stops the bad guys and puts them in jail where Audrey goes, wait, sorry, uh, <laughs> Audrey goes and does the unthinkable, and based off the slight tease that we received of Wraith in the Silver Lining DSC, with no actual showcase of Yuri, looks in the Wraith suit itself, I definitely sh think she is going to make a return as possibly one of the bigger threats or potentially more of the side threat and i mentioned this in my concerns for the game and i was saying that they might ignore yuri which i'm happy and i don't think they actually will i'm not fully sure i'm 50 50 on this i feel like they're most likely leaning on to the more threats and like evil and stronger villains but i think it would still be cool to see wraith uh, I mean, Yuri as Wraith, but, yeah. Spider-Man 2, and uh, within Spider-Man 2, I would love to see all these villains. But Wraith might be one of those villains we don't get to see, but hopefully she's in the game. And lastly, the villain I think that all of us were expecting for Venom to tag team with, to go, ag go against my English in this video, both Peter and Miles as their respective Spideys is none other than Norman Osborn as the Green Goblin. However, now after seeing the teaser trailer for Spider-Man 2 in full and knowing how massive of a threat Venom is likely going to be within this game, I don't I do think including both Venom and Green Goblin within Marvel Spider-Man 2 might just be a bit too much. And instead, I definitely think that we could see a tease of Norman becoming the Green Goblin at the very end of this game. If it turns out that Harry is in fact in, uh, in fact Venom instead of Eddie Brock, and he actually may end up dying by the end of the game's story if the symbiote ends up affecting him in a negative way, that could potentially send Norman off the deep end and initially turn himself into the Green Goblin. We even get to see some slight teases of what the Green Goblin could be like more towards the classic 616 version of the character with the 
like gliders since we do see a typical cow included with Norman Osborne's penthouse and see secret labs. We do in fact actually get a look at some pumpkin bombs and coming for me it, Personally, I do think that Venom and Kraven being the main antagonist for Marvel Spider-Man 2 while Green Goblin may end up being main antagonist for Marvel Spider-Man 3 does make a lot of narrative sense. There's a, quite a few other villains that we do know officially exist within Marvel Spider-Man universe that may potentially have a bigger role as possible villains to fight against uh, within Marvel Spider-Man 2, like that of Mysterio, Kamlin, and Sandman. So Insomniac is definitely not short of including villains within Spider Marvel Spider-Man 2, but seeing who exactly they end up choosing in the grand scheme of things is definitely going to be something that's truly exciting for fans, and I, for one, just can't wait to see who they are going to show next. But with all that said, everyone, that's the video I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching the full video. If you did, please smash that like button. Please smash that subscribe button. Anything and everything down in the comments below. As always, I'm 4K Films. Take care.